Hello and welcome to Conversations with Clara. This is made for you to give you inspirations for personal growth. And I am Clana. I am a transformational catalyst, a multidimensional healer, and a professionally trained life and leadership coach, and a certified sexological body worker. This is why in my talks it often occurs that we are talking about sensuality, body, and sexuality. But today I have a special guest, Amina Logemann from Hamburg, and she is a rock star, as you will see in a moment. She has her own coaching agency and she helps people to become visible and to become heard. Welcome, Amina, and let us know what that means. <laughs> Hi, Clara. Hello, people. Wow, this is so great to be introduced like this. Thank you for this and giving me the opportunity to talk to people and to show up. Mm -hmm. I have this agency because I'm going for other people and I open doors for other people. So they told me, put this into a project and do something with this. And I followed this instructions. Cool. <laughs> and it, it's always a pleasure talking to you. The other day I was giving you a call just to check in how you are and it was so amazing. So we uh, got our both of our energies up somehow. I think uh, at least I, I got had the idea it was the same with you. Yes. And uh, then I decided, okay, do you want to be on my show? Because in these times now, people need some uh, laughter, some happiness. <laughs> and this is what we want to spread here. <laughs> yes. Good energies. Mm -hmm. And Amina is always, whenever I, I meet her, in a good energy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Good mood, yeah. I like to be in the present moment. I don't care so much about the next hour, the next day, the next year to come. Isn't that the secret? This is maybe a secret. And I practice this every day because this might be the last day of my life and I want to fulfill it with energy and love and crazy ideas. And I do what I want. I don't care about people's opinion or what they think about me. This doesn't matter so much. So I go out and play outside. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I want my life to be a stage and this is how I open the door and then I go out to play like a child, you see? Because they go out and play and they dance around on the green grass in a public park with a crown on their head. Like this, yeah. <laughs> queen. Ah, Corona, and this is the game now to show up like a queen, and to hand this to somebody who wants to be um, on a picture, and then I say, this is a moment you can take it or not. And some are so, oh, what is she doing? What is she offering? Is she crazy? And this is my game. One has to think. She is a little bit crazy, but I like it. And then they join in. They dance with me or they take pictures with a crown, even a crown in the tree. I don't care what they do with it. This is great. And then a little, little, I, I think they call it cuddler. A little, little girl, very little, very cute. She can move and she's so standing in front of me, looking at me like, what is she doing there? <sighs> With big eyes. And then I think I did this for her as a service for her. Mm -hmm. To see an adult woman with a crown and her father was her guidance. So he looked from her to me and from me to her and she was so... 
<laughs> yeah, kids are still really curious. They and are, this is something something we've lost. Huh? <clears throat> Most of us have lost. And she touched my inner child. Yeah. This is what it is. Exactly. You, you just nailed it there. So we should get our inner child out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I, I have a question to you. Because for me, it might have been totally different. Have you been always like that? No. Okay, so me neither. <laughs> I, sometimes I think I never was the child. I, I'm becoming a child more and more. <laughs> yes. On one side, I'm very wise. I can analyze the situation. I can read people's energy. I can blah, blah, blah. I can deal with numbers and words. Mm -hmm. And on the other side, I don't care about this stuff. Exactly. I care about people and my own playfulness. And this is also some, call it inner freedom. Mm -hmm. You do what you want. And what has to be, in, uh, what is inside has to be shown outside. It's like, go and don't dare to be bold enough. Just show it to the people what is possible. Yeah. But there's so many possibilities. You can do what you want. And I'm thinking sometimes about going undressed in the public. And this is triggering me to do this in a place where it's possible. Yeah. Maybe they pick me up. Maybe they take me to prison. And this is, I want to create a story and I'm always thinking about what can I do that they take me to prison. Because they think I'm so friendly. And they know how dangerous I can be. I can also be dangerous. <laughs> oh, that's <so> funny. <laughs> rockstar, rockstar means something what is also has got different meaning. A rock is a, something you wear, usually as a woman. In German, it's a skirt in English. <laughs> or it's a skirt. And if you wear it as a male person in Scotland, it's also a skirt. And you can see it as a rock, something very big and very strong in the nature. You cannot move. Or you are so strong and so powerful that you are able to do this in a team, maybe. And it's also the music. Mm -hmm. And when I meet people, I say, I'm a rock star. And they light up because only of this word. And then I ask them, what is a rock star in your eyes? And who do you want to be if all is possible? And what is your favorite rock star? And they tell me always stories. And they tell what they really have in their heart what they wish to be, if it's possible. Maybe for 15 minutes, I think it was Andrew Warhol who said, you can be famous for 15 minutes. I don't really remember, but I think it's, uh, it's him. And it's possible to add 15 minutes, one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. Who says that it has to be 15 minutes in one block? It can also be for seven seconds. Because you have the connection to somebody and then they play, they play with you. Mm -hmm. It's always good to make people laugh. Yes. That's what I think. And, and to really get that, that, um, to that point where you don't care either not at all or mm -hmm. at least not as much than you cared before what other people think. Mm -hmm. For me, that was a process. It, it took me really a few decades because I was like most of us. Mm -hmm. So educated, it's important what people think and you need to behave, you need to be the good girl. But most of us, we are not really the good girl inside. We just uh, have been made to be it <laughs> somehow like that. And when we suppress our real selves, that cannot be good in the end. Mm -hmm. and, and this is why also me, I'm, I'm there to help people to overcome that with all the experiences I have had in the last decades <laughs> in, in my way to get where I am now and be able to, to talk 
uninhibitedly, as that word exists, uh, about sexuality and all those things that are essential for us people, but they are considered to not be talked about in public. Mm -hmm. At so. least about honesty to yourself. Yeah. And to have somebody who takes this word as words or as energy and don't say this is right and that is wrong or something yeah. like that. Don't judge. That's, the, that's, the, that's also something that I'm still learning because we are humans and our culture over not only decades but centuries or even longer, we are raised as being um, dual, dualistic and everything is black and white and good and bad and whatever. And, and I'm catching myself sometimes, still sometimes, uh, that I have judgment on something. Mm -hmm. But now I'm aware of that. Mm -hmm. Before I didn't even know that I was judging. Mm -hmm. And as soon as you are becoming aware of something, then you are able to dissolve that. Mm -hmm. And so now I'm, I'm really a tolerant person and I want nothing more than everybody loves each other and especially themselves. That's the most important thing and the most difficult for most people. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and, and just take them as they are, mm -hmm. other people. Yes and let ever, everybody have their opinion. Right, right now in the situation we are currently, mm -hmm. uh, now I see that a lot of things pop up here and there, this theory and that idea and what is true and which is true. I tell you, you determine your own truth mm -hmm. because there are a lot of realities out there. Mm -hmm. And what you think you, you or what you believe that is true in your reality mm -hmm. and until i got that i was in misery i was in victim mode mm -hmm. and now i decide for myself okay i am here and like you i want to enjoy my life <laughs> let's have some fun here and since i'm here i'm way way better than before because I decide this is my truth for myself. You have another truth, Amina. Some, might, some things might similar, be similar, but you have another truth and that other person has another truth. Let them have it. It is their choice. It's everybody's choice. We are here to do the best for our lives. Yes, this is true. And, uh... I can share a story because maybe this is interesting for people um, what this means to follow my body energy and to don't think about thinking or thinking about what I thought and what I'm thinking now and how this works, how this lights me up and how this makes my life so more joyful. I can use uh, what I learned in the coaching and this is called how to talk to men and three years ago I just had something on my wish list this was a trouser like carpenters wear made in black cord I don't know in, in, in English it's a special material it feels soft and it's um, Breitkorthose in German. <laughs> I, it doesn't come to me. Something similar to velvet, but it's not velvet. Reißverschlüsse, <laughs> um, I don't know either. The zip. Two zips in front, because it's so practical, uh, practical and made for men. Yeah. For carpenters or for masonaries and handcraft men. But I myself didn't really know that it's possible to play with a handcraft man because I'm surrounded by engineers and businessmen, but I was organizing shows. Mm -hmm. I'm a daughter of a carpenter, so I thought this might be very good for myself to be reborn as a daughter of a carpenter 
going out of and dropping this trouser on the stage. So I was looking for something for the show. And I asked myself, what can a guy do for me? And I like to eat and I like to have some pleasure to share good energy and good vibrations. This was all. And I worked, so to say, worked with this list. There was nothing about how tall is he? Where does he come from? Nothing. And on a sunny day, something magical happened. And this is, I always tell this because this happened on a street nearby my apartment. And he was moving and I was also moving beside my bike. And then he said something to me. And he told me after that what he was thinking before he said this. And he said, you have a very beautiful skirt. And then I recognized him. He was standing beside me and I turned my head and I thought, wow, what a handsome man. And a nice voice, the voice worked. The, wor the word from the voice touched me in some way. And then I was thinking a lot of, in a very, very short sequence. Mm -hmm. Don't say this, don't say this, don't fuck it up. Just say, just say something now. And then I said, you have a very beautiful smile. And then he smiled. Even more. <laughs> <laughs> And there was a connection from the first moment. Mm -hmm. And I felt so, wow, what is going on in my life now? And I asked him something, then we, we moved a little and I asked him uh, something about, are you in the first line or are you on stage? Because I was doing something for the show. Mm -hmm. And he said, I'm doing something to make the stage like it's needed to be. Also Bühnenbild macht er. Wow. He painted the picture, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a tree needed, he can also build the tree and something like this. And I said, oh, I don't have this now. Up to now, I didn't have this. And then I read his energy and he was so curious because he's new in Hamburg, in my hometown, and he wants to be connected to, to somebody. A friend of mine told me, a girlfriend told me after that, <clears throat> he just mirrored you because I did this with him. What do you see? Because I was playing on the street also, if it's possible, I, I did this. And then you, you, you moved your hands in front of your face. To open. Open and, and close it. Okay. okay. Like, ah, like opening a curtain. Okay, I got it now. The mind also. This is yeah, yeah. And he said, I can see your fingers, your eyes. And I was, wow. And then he said one word. Because I always ask, what else? What else do you see? And then I give time. Mm -hmm. And he said one word. And this is love. Mm -hmm. I was without text. <laughs> cool. What a great conversation you <laughs> manifested there. What a great guy in the right moment that you needed him. Wonderful. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you for sharing that story. <laughs> so, um, we go for a while and I said, yes, we go for a, for a walk now, right now. And then he said something, I don't know. And I asked him also, maybe you have a trouser, like a black trouser from a carpenter. And he said, yes, I have this. <laughs> and I was so bold. I said, can I borrow this for a show? And he said, yes, of course you can. Fantastic. <laughs> it's possible to meet again because he has to hand over the trouser. 
-hmm. it was possible he take me to a restaurant and he did all this mm -hmm. wonderful so and the essence of all this is as soon as you wrap your mind around positive things and the things you desire and you you that they show up somehow and in in this form or in the other form and then you just need to say yes and if you have the, the right skills to talk with other people in this case with men the, these are the things we both are trained in <laughs> communication skills and we uh, teach it to other people now then you just have a jackpot yeah so isn't that cool and what we have now is love and freedom we don't right. live together in the same apartment mm -hmm. because we both feel this is not good for you and not for me either yeah he lives in his garden and his house and i have my apartment and we share a good time together beautiful and i'm so thankful that he's in my life now and he's also and i took him i connected him to somebody from the tv in hamburg and he said wow Now I understand what you said. You are so such a lucky guy because you meet me. Because I was so light in this moment, yeah. in the first hour, and I said, you are such a lucky guy. <laughs> yeah, and you were so self-confident as well. Mm -hmm. So this is also what it is about. If you learn to stay in your own truth, to love yourself, you increase your self-confidence and all those wonderful things can happen. So, and this is what both of us are teaching to people in different ways. So you use the stage, I use mostly body work, uh, and we can even do that body work now, nowadays through uh, the technical devices. So I don't even need to touch people, they can do that by themselves. And if you are curious to know more about the two of us, Amina, how can people reach you? On Facebook. Okay. Amina Logemann. Mm -hmm. And my website is still under construction. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> and myself, I am also on Facebook with Klana or on my website, klana.us. Thank you very much for this light talk, Amina. Thank you. And you all out there, I hope I will see you for the next conversations with Clara for, in, for your inspiration to have a great life. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Bye. Have fun. Go out and play.